Well, students in the College of Engineering at SDSU are celebrating an out-of-this-world achievement. A group of students and professors have been working to build a space rover designed to harvest ice crystals from the moon. The rover was submitted to NASA's Break the Lunar Ice Competition, and the group's space trajectory is one of 15 teams participating in the worldwide contest. Kelly Land's Renee Ortiz takes us to Brookings to see how the team is working to advance their rover in the competition. For the last two years, Space Trajectory has spent countless hours designing and building their rover, the Excavator. After spending two weeks testing and researching this summer, the group submitted their data to NASA. The results were posted this week. Space Trajectory tied for runner-up and will continue on in the competition. Associate Professor Todd Lecture says this is exciting news for the team. In the next phase, we will be going to a NASA facility. They are going to simulate a lunar terrain, and uh, all of us will compete head-to-head -head against each other, and we'll finally get to see what everyone else has been doing, too. While the team is celebrating their success, senior Carter Wagner says the work has just begun. Already, the group has began brainstorming new additions to their design. We're preparing for our fabrication phase, so that will happen next semester. So we're taking what we learned from the 15-day testing and we're taking that knowledge and making it so that we can improve our rovers in the next phase. Space Trajectory was also awarded a $75,000 cash prize. The money will be used to build the next edition of the rover. Senior Andrew Clark says he's enjoyed being a part of such a hard-working team. We're all students and being able to compete against these big companies and corporations is really just a testament to how well our work ethic is and how well we're advancing our own careers. Lecture says the team plans to continue working and hopes they will see their rover on the moon. In Brookings, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. The excavator was able to harvest around 4,500 pounds of material and traveled close to 20 miles. Space Trajectory will be heading to one of the 10 NASA facilities this spring.